Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. It's me, Philippe, back here. <laughs> I appreciate you for tuning back into uh, the channel. I know it's been a few months. I know I've been kind of MIA, so I appreciate you tuning back in. And if you're new here, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Um, a lot has changed in the last few months. Um, some travels, some injuries, some ups and some big downs, but a lot of lessons learned. And the main thing is I changed my way of training. I changed my nutrition after following the same uh, sort of diet for two and a half years, which was fasting for 18 hours a day and then just having two meals a day. Sometimes I would have three, uh, but it would just be like a snack. Um, and yeah, I had like a very strict uh, regime and yeah, I definitely changed it. I recovered from a big injury, um, so that's kind of where I've been, but a lot has happened, which I will fill you in over time as I make some more videos, but the purpose of this video, I just wanna show you a week of training, a full week of training, um, because it's changed and I'm training pretty much every day, so now I just did uh, eight days in a row and today I'm resting, so I'm filming this intro for you and I'm gonna do another full week, it's all planned out. Um, so I'm ready to show you how I balance calisthenics, uh, running, and my new nutrition and my supplements I'm taking to make sure I'm recovering and fueling my body so that I don't get tired because some days I'm doing double sessions and you'll see that um, in this training video. And yeah, maybe uh, you wanna train like this. I feel like, uh, it's pretty cool and it keeps it fun. You know, you're not always doing the same thing. And, you know, over time, I'm gonna tell you how I got into running as well, because I never thought I'd be running, but I'm taking it uh, pretty seriously now. And then I'm gonna be looking at doing some races this year too. So I got all the gear right now, but I got no idea, but we'll get there. <laughs> but anyways, I just appreciate you for tuning back in. I hope you enjoy the video. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So on Monday, we ended up doing uh, engagement training. I just took some non-stim pre-workout here um, because it was just a light training. And uh, I started off the session with uh, handstand shapes, of course, uh, full body warm up before that. But when you get into the training, I like to do uh, handstand shapes to build those neural connections and to get me in that uh, balancing <laughs> mindset. And then I started off the workout with something I'm really comfortable with, which is uh, two tuck planche presses into a handstand push up followed by a tuck planche negative. And the purpose of an engagement session is to do things you're really comfortable and confident doing to build those neural connections for those future more intense sessions. Here's Chloe, uh, she's working on a handstand push-up and uh, she's just practicing her partial reps here. Um, I think it's super cool seeing a girl do handstand push-ups. Um, and yeah, so at the moment I'm kind of working on a uh, my planche negatives and my full planche negatives. So I just do one set of um, a basic progression, just a frog here. Once again, I'm just really comfortable doing that. So I'm just building those neural connections. Here's Chloe doing a straddle bent arm negative, which is super impressive. And this is the full planche negative. Um, I wasn't the happiest with that attempt. I was pretty tired this day, but yeah. Anyways, we move on. Chloe did amazing. So because I was tired, I ended up grabbing a resistant band, um, but that resistant band was super light and a little bit too light. So I just went to the band up from that. And this one um, felt pretty good. So I ended up adding some uh, presses to this one too. And uh, I started to get my energy back um, at this part of the session. So I just ended up trying to do uh, full presses instead of just working on the negative. And that usually happens in a calisthenic session. Sometimes you're like, yeah, I'll do this. And then you end up feeling really good. So you just end up pushing yourself because it's super fun. Um, and yeah, I just added in uh, this little super set of tuck planche pushups uh, to a press uh, just for fun, um, you know, but the goal of this session, um, yeah, that was my last set. I just really went for it there. I added the dead stop before the full presses. But yeah, the purpose of this session is just to keep it small volume. Um, so not doing too many sets. You know, this is kind of the realistic uh, volume as well. You know, I'm not cutting the sets here, but in the other sessions, I will only kind of just show one or two sets. Um, but yeah, this is genuinely all I did. It was like probably a 10 set 
workout. So it's kind of just one to two thing, one to two sets of everything. We found some rings in the gym. This was our first time trying the gym. So we both just tried our ring muscle ups because we haven't done it in such a long time just to see if we could do it. We both ended up um, getting them, which was, you know, of course, not a surprise, but also glad we still got the skill after not practicing for such a long time. Um, and then I just finished the workout with some pull-ups. So again, just not pushing myself too hard, uh, 10 to 12 reps. Um, yeah, so nothing too crazy, just to kind of prep the body for the week. Then for food, we had smoked salmon bagels in the morning uh, for breakfast. That was before the training and after the training, we had uh, some coffees and some chicken and pesto toasties and finished the evening with um, a prawn pasta dish, which was great. On day two, it was a double session day. Now we're just taking all good classic caffeined up pre-workout and some creatine. And then I'm just gonna take some uh, magnesium and electrolytes during the workout. So it's really important to hydrate and hydration doesn't mean um, just water. You know, there's six main minerals that your body needs. And um, you know, these kind of hydration tablets really help hydrate the body. Um, hydration just helps with the brain fog and energy and obviously just flushing out all the toxins Apologize if that was a bit loud. Um, maybe you didn't even hear it because this is this mic is right here. But yeah, um, it also helps flush out all the toxins. You know, our body is like 70% water. So, you know, you need to stay hydrated and you need to have good salts and minerals in your body too. So things like this is really important, but I also have another hydration supplement that I take for the running, which uh, you will see later on. But right now we're gonna do a calisthenic strength session just at home, um, not gonna, I'm just gonna do a voiceover over the training and uh, yeah, so I can just focus on the stuff. Uh, gonna try go as intense as I can because yesterday it was a really light and just an engagement session, but we'll see how the energy levels go and then we're obviously gonna go for a PM run uh, this evening. So once again, starting the session off with handstand shapes. I do uh, six to eight sets like this just before I start the workout. So once I complete the full body warm up, I go uh, for the handstand shapes. And then I also add in a planche lean combo. So here it's a wide sort of planche on the fingers, make a transition uh, just to being on your hands. And then just, yeah, just doing a bunch of presses. So a total of eight reps, and then I do a eight second hold as well, but I cut the clip early because who wants to watch a planche lean for eight seconds? So yeah, time to get some chalk on and get serious. So I'm gonna try my, uh, some combos here. So I'm gonna start with a frog press, 90 degree push up, and then I think it's gonna be a frog Planche negative. So yeah, first sort of set. Again, just seeing where the energy levels are at. I was a little bit tired this day, um, but I still pushed through. So I ended up just doing an advanced tuck, adding a little dead stop, advanced tuck press, and trying to do straddle negatives. But I don't know what happened here. So embarrassing that I didn't even get um, any of the straddle negatives. Um, yeah, I was pretty tired. As you can see in this set, I struggle a lot on uh, that advanced tuck press, which is not usual, um, but I think I just pushed myself a little bit too hard in that engagement session. So uh, that's definitely a lesson learned. And you know, it's probably relatable. Sometimes you say, yeah, I'm gonna train light. And then you just end up pushing a little bit too hard. And I push myself a bit too hard uh, with those resistant bands. So I'm definitely paying for it here um, because yeah, I'm not even managing the straddle negative. So I mix uh, planche and front lever together in this training. So this is the warm up combo for the front lever, just uh, advanced hook touch and pull up. Felt pretty good. So I'm going for straddle pull ups two 
uh, two reps of pull-ups, two reps of presses, two negatives. So straddle two, 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 it's kind of called. Um, but yeah, just trying to clean up the form. And yeah, I'm just working a lot on the straddle combos in front lever because um, I wanted to clean up the form really well in the straddle before I add it to the front because um, I could do it in the front, but it just wasn't that clean. And so I decided to go down a progression, really clean it up to my best. Um, I still feel like I need to work on it. It's not how I want it to be. So I'm still gonna spend some more time doing that. Um, and then I did eight straddle raises. Um, my hips are bending a little bit here, but uh, the purpose of this is just to do a lot of reps to build volume and endurance because that's kind of a good way to build um, strength to have cleaner form because the form is intensity in calisthenics so first of all you know you need the endurance to have the strength to even have clean form if that makes sense so you know it would be unwise to try get really clean reps if I could only do three straddle raises and if I try to do it clean form I probably would only get um, all the way up and then I wouldn't even get the negative because the form makes it that much harder. Um, so that's why you need to build up a lot of reps and let go of the form a little bit. So that's what I was doing there. Here I'm gonna go for the full planche negative. So I just warmed up with a simple tuck negative and yeah, I was tired, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I didn't even get a straddle uh, this training. So yeah, going for the full was a little bit too ambitious. Then I try to make up for it for doing uh, you know, just a kick out in full as well. But yeah, that wasn't really working out. Um, but then this last set, I found some energy and I felt like this was maybe the best one. It felt like I had a little bit more control, but still it was, you know, not great. Not, could have been much better. Um, but yeah, then I just went into some advanced tuck pull-ups, just three simple reps. I was getting pretty tired here and I didn't want to overtrain uh, myself in this training because I knew I was going to be going for a run later on and then I finished the workout with uh, handstand push-ups so I think some of these sets are eight to ten reps and I'm just keeping the range of motion a little bit smaller um, just so I can get that amount of volume um, so I can build that endurance and yeah so that's kind of how I train it's it's not too long and it's definitely different uh, from some of my previous trainings you may have seen or if you remember, but yeah, I used to train for like three or four hours, just 40 to 60 sets, um, a lot of combos, you know, a lot of strengthening and it was just quite a lot, but I couldn't train every day. So now I train more often. I have, um, you know, smaller sessions, they last about, an hour to an hour and a half and uh, the volume just really depends on how I feel yes there's a lot of bad days because you know you're training more often so you know but you being able to push through that bad day if you look at the overall um, you know if you train seven days a week and you have two bad days you still have five good days um, but if you only train four times a week and you have two bad sessions then you know that's basically two bad sessions two good sessions Whereas if you're training those seven days, it's two bad sessions, five good sessions. So that's kind of the idea there. Then once I got to the evening, uh, it was raining and uh, it was super horrible outside. So it made uh, going for that run a little bit more challenging, but I still ended up going. But here's where I kind of messed myself up for the week because this was supposed to be uh, easy recovery sort of run, um, nothing too strenuous. And uh, it was only meant to be like 6K as well, but I ended up uh, getting lost. <laughs> I took a new route and uh, it ended up being almost 10K. So it was a total of 9.7K and uh, there was so many puddles. Um, it was raining so heavy, it was super hard to film. Um, my phone wouldn't even turn on, so that was just throwing me all over the place. And then I just ended up running a little bit quicker than I intended, um, which is not ideal uh, because it just slowed my recovery for the week. But still, we got it done and uh, definitely lessons 
learned. Um, don't try and film on a rainy day and uh, make sure you go <laughs> with the route that you're familiar with. Otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be chaos. Um, but anyways, uh, for the full day of eating, this morning uh, we had pancakes, protein pancakes. They were just amazing. Um, and then for lunch or after training, it was um, turkey rashes, eggs, uh, sort of cheese roll. After the run, I take a Humantra hydration supplement. So this is um, just really good to rehydrate the body. And then in the evening, we had uh, steak. So yeah, it was just classic steak, veg and chips, but I only showed the steak and then uh, had a clear way isolate to go with that too. Then this is a morning mobility routine I do every day. So here I just end up showing a small part of it, but this is something I may make a video on and just show the full routine and show you how you could uh, sneak in a quick five to 10 minute um, routine to help loosen up your hamstrings, lower back, um, and those sort of areas, because if you're sitting down a lot in your job, then uh, those areas are gonna suffer a lot and you're probably gonna have a lot of pain um, in your lower back. So yeah, you gotta really target the hamstrings, hips and lower back. And so that's what I'm really focusing on, just keeping all um, the body healthy, keeping it moving, keeping the blood flow going. So yeah. So now it's Wednesday, it's gonna be back day at the gym. So it's it was a pretty short workout. I think it wasn't even an hour, so it was just four simple exercises, starting with ring pull-ups. Um, here is just eight reps, making sure doing like the gymnastic style with the twisting as well. Then uh, barbell bent over rows, 15 reps, keeping um, the reps quite high and trying to have a lot of uh, tension on the muscles. So just keeping the reps quite fast. But then when I came to the lat pull down, I focus more on control, isometric pauses um, and doing a really slow negative. So yeah, this is really, really good. And so basically, whenever you're doing this, you've got to make sure to relax um, the lats and scapula at the very top and then re-engage before you pull down. Otherwise, you'll be pulling most of the weight through your arms and not your back. So, you know, re-engaging that scapula between reps really helps use your back. Then I just finished the workout with some dumbbell uh, bent over rows, just isolating one lat at a just isolate in one lap at a time. Um, and yeah, so this was almost like a little active rest day because yeah, I don't think weightlifting is too intense, not as intense as calisthenics. So that was a day to, that allowed me to catch my breath a little bit, which was nice. Then for the food, we had uh, kind of the same as yesterday. So the eggs, turkey rashes, lettuce, tomatoes in a bread, um, then during the day, just had some chicken pops and cheese bites, and then finished the evening off with some enchiladas. So this was my least favorite day of the week, uh, running intervals. Yeah, I really don't enjoy these types of workouts. Got up super early this morning, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of puddles in the way, which made the intervals super hard, and I was just not feeling it. Uh, here's a post-workout check out selfie, whatever video. Um, and then yeah, consumed a lot of pastries and coffees um, after this day because that workout killed me. Um, but yeah, I was just not in the mood to film it. So there's not much footage, I apologize. But yeah, and so here I'm making some eggy bread. So just enjoy this montage, uh, little time lapse of me making some lattes and some good breakfast. Then day five, probably my favorite day. This was just a planche and strengthening day at the gym. It wasn't too long, 
but it was super fun. So once again, just starting with the handstand shapes, seeing where the body is at, I felt pretty good this day and I wish I actually pushed myself more um, and just ended up doing more volume. So again, just warming up with uh, the wide planche lean presses on the fingers, transitioning to the palms. So again, it's just something I'm using at the moment because um, yeah, I'm taking some time off from the wide planche work, but I, at some point I will work on it again. Then started with uh, one, one, one in tuck. So, which means one push up, one press and one negative. Again, just felt really great. Then I wanted to work on the negatives. So first warm up set, I ended up going for a straddle and I managed to stop it, but I didn't go for a hold. And I really wish I did because when I went for the full, I messed myself up. Um, yeah, and I just couldn't get it this day. And it was just so annoying. And then I was like, okay, well, let's go back to the straddle. But because I took so much energy trying to do that full, I couldn't even get the hold in the straddle. And I really wish I did in that first set because it felt so good. And I felt like I stopped it well, but this set frustrated me and I felt like I had energy. So even though I didn't get the hold in the negative, I just carried on the combo uh, with some 90 degree push-ups. Um, and yeah, so, you know, this kind of just allowed me to take some of my energy out. Um, and then I just went for one more, but again, I failed. And yeah, I just wish I stayed in straddle this session. I, didn't, I wish I didn't push it too hard. And uh, yeah, I shouldn't have gone for the full this training at all. Then I decided to do some banded strengthening. So just did a dead stop, straddle press and negative and yeah. Then I went for a wide straddle press and negative. So just having some fun with the bands. Um, but yeah, this was a super small session, but it felt the best and I wish I stayed more. I wish I did more. Um, I wish I did more non-banded. Then I went for some uh, just full planche presses with the band. Try to use a lighter band as well um, because I did feel stronger here. But yeah, the form is not that great. I'm doing big banana back. And yeah, doing 90 degree push up, trying to push up to full planche, but no, no real hold there. Here's Chloe, another cameo. She's working on a straddle planche um, at the moment. So yeah, that's kind of where she's at. She's getting on super well and she's working on the tuck presses as well, which she's doing amazing even without the band. Um, but yeah, she's so strong. Then just went for a dead stop, full press, kind of keeping it the same, you know, I don't try to do too many different things. And that's one thing about calisthenics. And then here, just finishing off the workout with a one, one, one in straddle. But that's one thing about calisthenics is once you get to um, learning more and more skills, you can't actually do them all the time. So you just kind of got to pick your poison, um, you know, and each kind of training block, you just focus on specific movements, but you don't want to do everything in at, all at once. And then for the food, we had some uh, fish finger and tempura nugget bagels, which were great. Obviously not the healthiest option, but you know, you got to, you got to enjoy the bad foods too. Um, and then through the day, I just had um, some protein bars, fruits and snacks like that. And then in the evening, pasta dish. So here's just like a montage of me cooking. I'm thinking of doing like a full day of eating and uh, just give you like more in-depth breakdown about all the foods and what goes in them and things like that. Um, because yeah, this is kind of just snippets and clips because it's just focused more on the training and it's kind of just showing you some of the meals, but not every single meal. You know, I'm definitely missing some of them out. Um, and then yeah, just making some clear way isolate peach iced tea. Uh, yeah, protein, which is amazing, and it complements the food amazing as well. And then in the evening, I just had some cereal. So this day didn't go exactly to plan, so I'm gonna show you how I adapt to when things like that happen. So a few days prior, we actually ended up getting a new couch, which was just huge, and it took up uh, the living room, and yeah, that's just our old couch out there. It looks so small uh, compared to, um, our one now and so yeah that was just a garden um, sofa so yeah we put it outside on the terrace so this day I wanted to do planche on front lever 
kind of how I did on Tuesday, but I was super tired and honestly hiding in the corner <laughs> um, behind the sofa was really off-putting. So I just tested to see how I felt with some really light stuff because I had a feeling I would be really tired. So just, just did some uh, frog planche holds and tuck planche push-ups, but I was too dead. So here I had a good think about what I wanted to do and what I could get out of this workout. So I tested the front lever quick with an advanced tuck pull-up and decided that I was just gonna work on uh, straddle front lever pull-ups. So I just did three reps and a short little hold, but the form wasn't amazing. Did some handstand push-ups, um, just focusing on a really small range of motion, just more focusing on isolating the shoulders. So almost using this as like a pump exercise, not trying to go for deep reps, just trying to get a bunch of reps and just keep a lot of tension on the shoulders. So just trying to get a good pump, but I was so dead. So I just ended up um, finishing with Australian pull-ups and over the bar dips, just really light, basic strengthening, um, just because that's what my body needed. And then I just did a lot of, uh, well, I spent a lot of time stretching, uh, foam rolling, and yeah. So here's just some of the stretches that I did, but you know, I spend a lot of time doing this and I do this every day. I just didn't show it in this video because I think I wanna do a separate video on mobility routines and stretching and how it can benefit you. So for the food, I had some protein oats. Don't have this every morning. Um, of course, as you've seen, there's, it's either a bagel or protein oats, and that's kind of what I alternate with, but I did miss a few of the protein oat shots. Had some smoked salmon and egg bagels and um, then chicken noodles. This is just a super quick and easy and you know cheap meal. Banana protein wrap with honey as well. So just carb sauce, smash two of those and then end in the evening off with a light meal, just some salmon, rice, and broccoli. And then day seven, the long run day, so 20 kilometers at a 450 pace. Um, so yeah, I mean, it felt great. I tried some new shoes here as well, um, which I was super excited to try. They're gonna be a race day shoe, so I'm gonna be saving them for um, a marathon or half marathon race. Um, yeah, got up super early this morning. That's how dark it was. Um, this is the fuel that I'll be taking. So gels, Rice Krispies, um, banana and honey. And then yeah, get right into it. You know, the shoes felt great. Felt myself popping along at a really nice pace. Um, yeah, the run just felt great. I had like the runners high like three times within this run. Um, yeah, just felt super good. Um, I was going at a comfortable pace all the way through. The shoes felt great. Um, yeah, they were the Nike Vaporfly 3s. Um, yeah, which I highly recommend, but I'll be definitely saving those for the race day. Then after Hugh Mantra and loads of coffees, loads of pastries, um, just loads of carbs um, in general. And yeah, just try to refuel after that session and after the long run, I always rest. So, you know, I do a seven day training. So it always kind of forwards a day um, because then that means the following week, the long run will be on the Monday um, because I would be resting the Monday. So then, you know, by the time it comes to day seven, you know, it's, it's always gets kind of pushed forwards. So I don't always train the same every single Monday. I just do day one to day seven the same. So that's my full week of training. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for tuning back in. Now for any future videos or any recommendations that you have, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to make a full day of eating and showing you what I actually eat and how I make it and what's in it rather than just showing you quick clips um, of the food. I also wanna make some mobility routines and stretching routines um, to help you as well. So if you are interested, don't hesitate to let me know. And if I could have done anything better, also let me know because I'll definitely be checking the comments. So once again, thanks so much. Uh, I had a pleasure putting this together and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.